Hi, this is Amy at the Virtual Planetarium at Raritan Valley Community College. Let's take a look at some of the things we can see in the sky for the week of January 31st, 2021. I'll start with our upcoming moon phases. We have a last quarter moon on February 4th, a new moon on February 11th, and a first quarter moon on February 19th. This week, sunrise is around 7.05 a.m. and sunset around 7.20 p.m. The sun is also reaching a maximum altitude at noon of 33 degrees. That's an improvement from the lowest maximum altitude on the winter solstice, a mere 26 degrees above the horizon. What does a golf ball have to do with the moon? This week marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 14 mission, where a golf ball made a guest appearance. On January 31, 1971, the Apollo 14 mission blasted off from Cape Canaveral. Alan Shepard, Stuart Rusa, and Edgar Mitchell were the astronauts aboard. The command module was called the Kitty Hawk, and their lunar module was called Antares. The goal of this mission was to investigate the geology and the impact ejecta around Mare Imbrium, or the Sea of Rains. This was the original destination for Apollo 13. They landed on Frau Mauro near the Copernicus crater. Their samples gave clues as to when the Mare Imbrium was formed. After landing, Shepard and Mitchell took two moonwalks, adding new seismic studies to the Apollo equipment package and using a lunar rickshaw pull cart to carry their equipment. Shepard and Mitchell collected almost 95 pounds of lunar samples for return to Earth. Stuart Rusa, meanwhile, took pictures from a, on board the command module Kitty Hawk while he stayed in lunar orbit. His photographs excited not only the scientific community, but helped in the planning of future lunar missions. Apollo 14 was commanded by Alan Shepard, who was also the first American in space. On one of their moonwalks, he famously played a little golf. On February 9, 1971, nine days after they left Earth, the crew of Apollo 14 entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of over 24,000 miles per hour. They landed safely in the South Pacific Ocean. The Apollo 14 astronauts were the last lunar explorers to be quarantined on their return from the moon. Well, that's our sky for this week. Thanks for joining me in our virtual planetarium. Please subscribe to our channel, like our video, and share it with your friends. We look forward to seeing you back at the Real Planetarium in the future. Until then, keep looking up.